Good morning, Mr. Global. It's your plan I've got here. I noticed that you have a 412 on this one. <clears throat> like I said in my post, I'm just going to shift select these walls, the outer outer walls. Press the shift key and then left click on it to get as the Chief Architect Incorporated videos call a selection set. We'll open that dialog, go to the roof tab, and over here, pitch options, we want the first pitch to be zero. That's what I suggested. I don't know if it's going to work or not, honestly. And the upper pitch, we want to start to be four to match the other building, I assume. I'm assuming that. Now, in from the baseline, let me hit the tab key. Yeah, I think the baseline is right here, and that's probably where you want the 412, see where my cursor is, to start. So I'm going to leave that at zero inches from the baseline. And we'll give that a shot. And uh, now we'll go over the build roof dialog. I assume you have these set the way you want. And then we'll build roof planes. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. <laughs> Maybe I should look in here. Maybe you told it until I have a roof or something. Oop. Well, that would be a problem. You you told the uh, program not to have a roof and not to have a ceiling. So that would preclude any roofs, at, uh, automatic roofs at all. Let's try that again. The programming I put in the walls is still there. We'll just order a, a rebuild. <clears throat> Okay, this happened here because this room dialog box, well, it doesn't look like it did what I wanted anyway, but let's take a look at it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, I don't know, it sort of kind of did. Yeah, yeah, there's a 012. Okay, that's good. And that only messed up because uh, this room dialog box here, again, has no uh, roof over it. So we'll just open the dialog box in here, select next. Maybe there is no room dialog box. I just assumed that there was. Oh, no, there is. Again, you got the roof and ceiling turned off in that space. Ergo, no roof. Well, it looks like it's going to auto-generate just fine. Let's build that again. Voila, I think we're done. As Scott Hall says, easy peasy. What is the University of Texas being in, in the shot of the... That's the University of Texas campus here in Austin. That's interesting that that ended up being a, a backdrop for this. Anyway, you see uh, we have a success now. <coughs> And what I was talking about, see, you could, I'm, this is the first time I ever ordered a 012 and then 412, so I didn't know what to expect, but it worked. But uh, you can just draw these things manually. I'm not going to go do it manually because it worked automatically and it'll make a shorter video. But that does solve your problem, unless I've misunderstood completely, which I'm quite capable of, what you actually wanted. Anyway, I hope this is actually what you wanted and that it helps you. Thank you.